All right. I just... All right, I'm back. We got another match right away here, and I'm going. I'm flying solo for the first time. Yikes! So we'll see. We'll see how that works. I've got the. Uh, I've got my Facebook going here. So hopefully I'll try and stay on top of that. Give me some. Uh, give me some ideas to my sound level. But we got a new match, Mason Mackey. Uh, against Dean Holton and they're just you're gonna get to see the lag right now hey, you're getting it all from us today they're gonna pass each other on the way by it's close whoa that is close <laughs> get to there so we are here again with the first annual lens bitney memorial and uh we'll put that up there so we are starting up another match here and again I am alone. So if anybody wants to come and talk, I think I'm going to get my buddy Jeremiah to come over. <laughs> Anyhow, all is good. All is good. Let's get there. Clear that layer. Clear that layer. And we are about to get started here. How's everybody doing here? So again, this is Q Sports Live. This is Dan Clark bringing you this match. Mason Mackey against Dean Holton. And it looks like Dean is breaking. He won the lag. This is still an A-side match, which means that we have these players are playing a nine ball on the nine foot race to seven. Uh, of course, any the loser of this match will end up on the B-side. They won't be out. Um, and the B-side plays on the seven-foot diamonds, eight ball, and a race to six. So uh, looks like he made a ball off the break. He made a ball, but uh, he's a little little hooked on the one ball. So we'll see what, uh, what he decides to do here. Uh, of course, anybody new to this game will, will may not know, but you can push out. And that means they you will know, not make an effort, not make contact with the with the uh, you know the object ball uh, without penalty. So no ball in hand. So it looks like that's what he's going to do. He's going to push out to the bottom rail and give Mason the shot on the one. So it looks like he gave it to him. So he may not have the shot to the side, or he may, but force or may push him, uh, force him into playing the one through to the eight. Or safe, of course. So we'll have to see how this all goes. A little hard to anticipate when you're back here. Sometimes you don't get the best vantage you. Oh, he, he left him the shot on the one and he made a good shot there. Oh. I think he said he, he nicked the four. So that's ball in hand, that would be a foul. So Dean back at the table. Hey, Kevin. And Mike. Hello, Wenda. Thanks for joining us. We've got a good match. We just had a great match with Stan Taranjo. Who uh, won, won his match 7-4. Now we got another great match coming up. don't 
know if I have. Oh, there we go. I've got the comments now for for YouTube. First time doing this on my own here, and uh, I've had zero training on the equipment. Well, very good shot. Good shape on that six ball. That was well done. I think here he'll just play a little top inside. Come across, take the eight. I mean, there's two ways to do this. You know, somebody could try and put a lot of bottom bring it around but I would just play top inside and try and check it across just like that and he's got a little bit of angle here so he probably won't hold it he'll probably come back above the nine and take it to the place play one pocket here Cherryfield Mike Sundstrom Cherryfield Nova Scotia in the house Tony Hanako is watching thank you very much you know what to do, guys. Hit that bell. I say hit the bell. You know, hit the button. <laughs> share, share the stream. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate that. Greg Donhauer is watching. Good to see you. And first blood here goes to Dean. So let's just see how I do this. I've got to. See, I lost something here. I'm doing great. <laughs> You're kind. <laughs> I'm not at all nervous. Uh, uh, you know, talking to you guys, what I'm nervous about is like killing the, killing the stream somehow or doing something silly and like not being able to find the scoreboard <laughs> so that I can update the score, which is where I'm at right now. Let's just see how I get to. Yeah, I don't want to mess anything up here. So... I am going to hold on a sec, everybody. Ben's here. Ben has saved me. That was one for Dean. Good timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> All right. No, I don't think Ben's coming on the stream. But Mike Sundstrom says hi. Yeah, yeah. Ben says he's got to play, and he says hi back. All right, everybody. It's back to the, get back to watching this game. So I think we had a shot for. Oh. I don't think that ball could be any deeper without falling. All right, so now I've got the, I've got everything going now. This is great. I feel good now. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we've got Dean is back at the table and he's shooting the two ball. Looks like uh, just play a little bit of tops just like that and come up table, get that three. Getting on the four might be a little bit troublesome, so we'll see what he, he decides to do here. Might just... Uh, Little tops come off that three and push the four closer to that corner pocket. That might be the best rather than trying to create a whole lot of spin and action on the ball. It's 
take what it gives you. Mm, looks like he's putting a little bit of something on there. See, that was the risk. I have a good commentary voice. Well, thank you very much, Gene. If you were uh, if you were here, and I don't know if you are or not, you could come and join me. <laughs> and we could be a team. So I find uh, doing the streaming, so this is really, I'm going to say my, uh, well, second time this go around. You know, I, I did a little streaming yesterday, but my second time overall, I did some streaming with uh, Grant in uh, the v &A Westerns in Enoch, Alberta last year. And I, this is my second time really doing this, so uh, I love it. I love the game. Oh, that ball looked like it took a little of the spin and Mass 8 maybe a touch on him. He was trying to hit the edge, but uh, that ran off on him. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. I'll just keep telling everybody I'm new so <laughs> they don't have high expectations. <laughs> and don't give me away. <laughs> oh, I think there might be a little turn in the table or the white ball might be a little crooked. That started to turn in a little bit too. I wonder if these guys are going to give that a look-see. That ball was coming down the table more closer to being on the 7 and uh, or in line with the 7, I should say, not on the 7. And it turned in just a bit on the towards the nine. That's a good safety though. If the table taketh away, you gotta give yourself a chance. I think Mason is looking for the short stick. Again, and for those of you that are not here, haven't seen the setup, the the table is kind of right up against the wall and the, the players are sitting off to the left of where we're watching here. And uh, so I have to look through a wall to see them or, or look around it. This is uh, not an easy shot, of course, for anybody who's played this game. Anytime you take out the short stick, it's, you know, there's a lot of skill in this. A lot of skill in this shot. If he can make this, he should get shape on that six ball. Should just automatically go over to that, towards the six. Well, yeah. he got a little bit of, he got a little, <laughs> little bit of luck there. Good luck there with a great look at the six. And, uh, he's got just enough angle, I think, that he can uh, either go top inside and come all the way around or play bottom right and try and uh, bring it back. No, he went top. That was the right shot. It's a great shot by Mason there. And again, he's finding himself a little bit straighter than maybe he wanted, but uh, he'll, create some, he'll create some shape by putting a lot of right English on this. Oh or a lot of draw English on this. See, that's how straight it was. I and mean, he probably put inside draw on that and he still, still came back pretty straight. So, uh, gives you an idea how straight that shot really was. He, he created about uh, half a foot of space closer to the eight ball. And unfortunately that Unfortunately, that gave him a little tougher shot than he wanted. So he missed it, and he's set up the eight ball. For Dean, this should be a pretty easy little forward and nine ball finish. And he followed it in. Wow. That's an unforced error. I probably want to want that one back. And Mason's on the board. All right, we got a match. 
So while these guys are racking, I will talk about a um, another event that we're going to have coming up here. It is the Huntington's Disease Second Annual Hope for a Cure. One of the players in this tournament, Georgios, um, I believe it's Zygalopoulos, um, is running this. It's already got some great, um, what do you call it, uh, interest. So three-man teams, 375 entry fee, and uh, it is a tournament that will Um, bring out a lot of good players again. Mason wins 7-5. Mike Scott, I, I think if anybody wants to uh, gamble, I think Mike might be willing to uh, to indulge you. So he hit that good, but he didn't get any balls down on the break. So we got Mason at the table. Looking at the one to the, s maybe to the side, but the two is a little block in half that pocket. Not sure, it's hard to tell from here. Yeah, okay. Good shot. <laughs> of course. All right, so where's he going to? So the three is next. The three is blocked two ways by the five and the six. So what's the shot here? Play the three bank into the nine. Is he slashing away here or is he gonna cut it the other way? I think he's probably gonna play safe here. You'll probably see him go off the right edge of the three and come in here behind the, underneath the nine or into the nine and pop the three up table. Oh, he went for it. So early on in this match, we're, we've got uh, some aggressive play. Matt is taking Mike's bet. All right, am I the bookie here? Do, uh, can I say that? <laughs> I'll hold the money, <laughs> if you trust me. <laughs> oh, you guys, I love it. That was it. Oh, 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 if he can. I don't know, he might, he might be able to see that. It's hard to tell, that's really tight to the nine. It's on challenge. Yeah, Len, it's on challenge. All right, so it looks like he's putting a little bit of, as I say, a little bit of stun, I say, on this. And he's left with the four to the side, so he's in good shape there. Probably float this one in the side. The five is a bit of duck suit down in the corner here. Very well done. So the five and the six pose no issues at all. They're both sitting perched. The key here is to make sure that he's got, not that, I was gonna say that he's got shape on the six so that he can hold it down there for the seven. He did not want to go in the side pockets. A Little bit again of an unforced error there, might be early in the match. These guys have been playing for a while, but uh, they're also on the stream table and uh, I've been on the stream table a couple of times. It's, uh, I think I, I think I'm not human because I don't really feel much, but I've heard people say that they tremble a little. Uh, whether it's, uh, you know, voluntary or involuntary, it can, uh, it can um, have its in influence on you in your game. But that was well, well played there by, by Dean. Got great shape, perfect weight. And he's about to, uh, he's about to go up too. There it is. Uh, 
And we have Dean up to one. With Mason breaking. So I might get a little aggressive here and start trying to uh, show you some of our sponsors' ads. <laughs> oh, the sound is working well this evening. Thank you, Technical Gods. Yes, it is. We've got it working well. Oh, not as funny. Hey, Matt. We need a little. We need a little gambling online here. <laughs> All right. Going for the head ball from the side. Let's look at the wing ball. Wing ball missed, but the three ball crept in there. And he's got a shot on the one. So we'll see what he decides to do here. So where's everybody from? Maybe we'll get people talking that way. The gambling's not going very well over there. <laughs> One dollar. All right. Second prize there a little bit. He uh, left a little bit of distance. So distance safety or contain if you want. And where the two is could pose a little bit of a problem. If he plays that one and hits the six and somehow stays on that end of the table, if he doesn't slide right over, that two is uh, just past the side pocket. So there's not really a worry of a scratch cutting it up, but it still makes it a really tough shot. Watching from Stony BC. Hey, Peter. Good to see him. Oh, maybe he tried to carom that off the six. Little miss there. So I think Mason's probably got the shot to the side. Or is he looking at the corner? It's hard for me to tell. Oh, I don't know if it goes by that two or not. Cherryfield, Nova Scotia, still in the house. Southern Minnesota. Good to see you guys. Watching from Maple Creek, Saskatchewan. Hey, Cliff. Wondering why you're not here, buddy. You shoot well. Anyone have the link to the bracket, please? I don't, but I know that somebody usually posts for us. Oh, you thin that a little bit too much. Just put a little bit of extra pace into that and came up a little bit thin. So he's left the two open for Dean, but the four is a little a little covered up, so he's going to have to make a good shot to come around. Get to that four ball. Looks like he's putting little bottoms on this. Bottom right. Come back. And... Well, he got there. It's not perfect. But he got, he got as good as he was probably going to get. Mason is the best player in East Chilliwack. I think you're right, Brent. Um... He shoots, he plays very well. I think he's got a couple of, uh, that's a, again, Dean's made a couple of solid, solid hooks on Mason here in his first few games. Yeah, it was a very nice draw, and uh, you know, he hit it with, uh, you know, slow pace, so he let the, he let the, uh, the action take on the ball. And you know, let the tables, the you know, the good, the good felt. It's all predator, predator cloth, and uh, all these tables, so diamond tables, they're fast tables to begin with, and then with the predator cloth, they play very slick, very, very fast. Sometimes you gotta let the let your spins take. Some people hit through their spins. Seemed, uh, I don't know Mason very well. I would read the body language as he, he took that a little quick. A little quick because he's probably a little frustrated at the, uh, you know, being hooked now a couple times solid in his first few games. Um, I don't want to say it was an easy hit, but he did, he did definitely uh, 
Looks like he took that with, uh, with a little bit of angst, maybe. Watching from just up the road in Edmonton, GWN. Well, does anybody know these guys? Fargo's, Sergey Kvartler is watching. Nice. Welcome, Sergey. I will take a quick peek. See what we got going here for these guys. Mason's a 596. Dean's a 598. Well, there you go. This should be a tight match. So far, I think Dean's got the slight advantage. Obviously, he's played a couple of lockup safeties, which in matches like these, oh, he's, he might get lucky here. He might get lucky. No, I think Mason can see the edge of the seven. That's a tough, tough shot. Yeah, both under 600, 596 and 598. Yeah, on that. Hey. Hi, Brian. Welcome to the stream. Um, I've noticed, like I know Fargo sometimes, I mean, when you've got lots of, lots of games in, wow, that was a great effort. Unfortunate. That ball hung. Um, you know, anywhere approaching 600 is really, really good, you know. Um, and, and often, you know, you can have, the difference between a 580 and a 600 might just be that the 580 hasn't played a lot of matches against people above 600 but they can certainly compete and they can certainly get their fargos above you know up to that point if they played more i find um you know top talent because that oh um yeah he's checking his hands he's, i think he's got a little sweat there he's um maybe there's some nerves going on here guys Of course, they're getting a little bit deeper now in the A side, right? These are, this is an A side match. And uh, the deeper you go, of course, the talent level gets, uh, gets a little bit stronger. What's left over? And so maybe there's uh, a little bit of nerves. All right. Mason squares the match. We're at 2 2. Um. Yeah, so what else was I saying there? Is the 580 can compete with a 610, no problem, right? Like a uh, few games, few few wins there, and you watch that Fargo go up. So I don't, uh, I think the Fargo probably makes a bit more of a difference, a little lower. You know, once you start getting guys 600, 610, 620, 630, they're all, they all run tables. They all run tables. They all win any match at any point in time. So then it, it comes down to, uh, Mental fortitude or intestinal fortitude. <laughs> you pick, pick your poison, and uh, it comes down to a situation and how you uh, how you deal with, um, you know, certain situations. Playing uh, tough safety is, you know, very good play. Predator tables on Niagara were tough corners with long hard rail shots. Yes. Yes, I've played, so I was one of the uh, organizers of the Red Deer, the Predator Canada Open that came to Red Deer. So that's where the first uh, Predator Apex tables came in. And then, of course, they've traveled around. They were in uh, Nanaimo, and then they were in um, Penticton before. Wow, these tables, this is playing tough for these guys right now. Um, anyhow. Uh, getting back to that so then they went to uh niagara so yeah I've, I've played on them a few times and uh they play true they play fast um the corners i think are overly punishing at times
I think the side pockets are perfect. They're, uh, they're a bit, some people might say gaping. They're, they're kind of welcoming, but if you touch the, any part of the horn, I mean with paint, it spits the ball out, which is the way it should be, right? We should be hitting the middle of the pocket or, you know, the inside half each way and not, not going off those horns. But the corners, you can really make a good shot sometimes and, uh, and it doesn't turn out so good. Uh, the other thing too with the way they're cut is the um, ball that goes in there doesn't like, like with these deep shelves here, they'll often hang. We've seen that happen an awful lot. Like even that one ball on this game, uh, they'll hang. In the, with the predator tables, they're built so that they, see there, oh, that was almost a hanger there. Um, they're built to spit them out. So they'll actually spit them out often to the middle of the rail. Um, which again, you know, for, for what could be uh, cons considered a really good effort, really good shot, you know, somebody says, oh, that would go in on any other table. And if you got a ball that's sitting in the middle of a rail and you know, nowhere close to a pocket, it, uh, it can be discouraging. But I liked them. I mean, overall, they, you know, they play well. You gotta just hit straight. That's what you gotta do. You gotta put them in the pockets. Peter, I, I, I don't know if they're going to run it again in the summer. Um, if they do, it's probably not going to be in Alberta. Uh, there was talk um, that, that it, it might uh, switch every second year. So west, east, west, east. I'm not sure if that is in the works or not. I'm not privy to that information. So I'm a little bit guessing on that. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be back in the west. Uh, not not this year and and again one of the things there too is the hotel that we had it at in Red Deer is that convention center is no longer there it's going to be a casino uh, or already is a casino or it, in the works so so they're two years away from building a new convention uh, hall so it would have to move which again you know having been one of the organizers I don't think that was uh, something that we would necessarily object <laughs> Two, I think we wanted to have it at the Great Eagle uh, initially, and uh, that didn't work out. And then we wanted to have it at the Deerfoot Inn and Casino. And we had dates and we had everything, and then they overbooked us. They booked on top of us. So uh, I think we'd prefer to have it in Calgary for sure. That was a little long-winded way of answering you there, Peter, but I hope you got that. Yeah, I don't, you know, Len, I don't think there's a comparison to, you know, the the valley tables, you say the bar boxes. I mean, you're talking about two different two different qualities of table. I mean, one's in, well, if you can't go strictly on price, but you're talking about a, you know, six, seven thousand dollar US table that's made pretty sturdy, you know, with a lot of technology in it and, and so on. Uh, you know, Predator's trying to be the leader in the world and, and in every part of pool, it seems, you know, I hear now Tome Chalk is challenged by, you know, Predator's uh, version of it. So, you know, they want a, they want a piece of all of it. Um, personally, I, I, I do love the Valley Tables, but you know, you've got a Valley, you got a Valley League for that. you got BNEA, you know, so BCA will move to, uh, BCA will move to these predator tables, at least in the short term. BNA will still be the valley tables. And uh, I'm not sure what's happening with ACS in in uh, in Vegas this year. If they're gonna, you know, if they're gonna be, I know ACS out here has moved to the predator tables, or CCS, I should say. Um, but maybe they're gonna be, geez, those corners are playing tough for these guys right now. They're, that's a few going back and forth with the uh, the bobbles on the on the table both leaving each other a little long and they're both um, coming up just just not in the center of the pocket catching a little getting a little horny and having the ball spit out or hang again Dean's playing these solid 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 oh, safeties on Mason 
got to be frustrating. Yeah, those, like I said, those side pockets, they're, they're deceiving because like I said they <laughs> can't use the word that we refer to them as often, but they're pretty gaping or, or welcoming. That's probably the better, the better term. But, um, wow, and he missed again. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, you think that you got those little, little uh, slimy shots that sometimes that roll in off the inside horn. Uh, on a on a valley table or even sometimes a little bit of a worn in you know diamond table you can kind of just make contact with the inside horn and and still be okay not on those predators Well, that's good, Lan. That's, that's what we want to see is progress, right? I mean, I think at the end of the day, um, you know, I was talking about this in the last year a little bit. I, I took about six years off from 2013 to 2019. Um, I say took it off. I basically quit pool. And it was, uh, well, we're looking to, again, we, we're looking to have you here, Glenn. We're, we're glad to say hi to you and talk to you when you get here. But... Yeah, so I took six years off. Pool was, uh, well, life was taken over. Uh, nice shot. Good finish. Put those in the middle. And so uh, so pool wasn't wasn't fun anymore, right? Like, uh, it was just, uh, it was one of those things where, you know, uh, stressed out from work and other life issues and what have you, and then uh, go and play pool and... You know, I was playing in the Masters divisions and, you know, run six balls, seven balls, half hook on the eight, freeze to the back of it, whatever it was. And uh, I found myself thinking of, I never did, but thinking of harpooning the wall <laughs> with my cue. And I think we've all probably had that once or twice <coughs> in our lives, you know, but it was happening on a kind of a regular basis. So I was just, in October that year, 2013, I just went to the team and was like, Sorry, guys, I got to take time off and deal with the stuff going on. Ben is still in, Wayne. Ben is actually playing right now on table 21, and it looks like he might be up 4 nothing. That's the score sheet over there, and I think that's the side that Ben's on. I'm not sure who he's playing. Yeah, so when pool stops being fun, you know, then it's time to pack it in. And... Uh, so how am I relaying this to, to the table? That's a really good break right there, too. How am I relaying this to the, the tables? I think if you're going to play on some tables that are going to punish you a little bit, um, it might start making pool, you know, not fun. But I think for, you know, players that are into their game and, you know, want to get better, I think you got to play on better tables and get used to, you know, making balls in four and three-quarter inch or, you know, smaller pockets and, that kind of thing. Hey, Brian. Your prediction is right on there, Mike. <laughs> yeah, we got a little 3 2 action. Yeah, that was a good break there. Let's get back to the game and see. So he, he made his one ball, and now it's gone for the extension to go play his two. Three is sitting close to the bottom right corner here. So as long as he just makes a a good shot and bypasses a little bit of the traffic in the middle of the table, the five and the seven. Um, he should be able to make quick work of this table and get square the match. That looks, that's looking good. Good shot, Mason. So what's he got on this? Oh, looking at the side view here. Looking at the side view, he's pretty pretty straight. May be able to create a little bit of angle there to get out. Just doesn't want to overdo it, because you again on these on these tables that we've seen, if you touch the horn, it might it might spit it out. Oh, 
He had plenty. He just drew it back. Nice shot. So, looking at this again, he might draw a little below the six, or if he's straight, just straight back to, you know, same line where he is to, to the six. It's, again, hard to tell here where, what exact angle he has. Looks like he might be able to draw it back to the, to the right side here a little bit. Oh, no. Couple of unforced errors. That's really unfortunate. So Dean's back at the table and he will look to pick up where Mason left off. Yeah, it's looking like five nothing for Ben now. And he's still A-side. Sorry, I didn't I should have been clear with that, Wayne. He's still A-side as well. I'm watching some guys that are still playing out here. We've got uh, John Morales is still on the A side. Looks like Warren Ortiz is still on the A side. Uh, it's hard to see some of these guys, but get out there. Well, it's looking good for Dean. Um, got a little straight on this. He might have wanted to have a little bit of angle so he could sl slide over, you know, closer to the side pocket ish. Take that eight. He might have to come underneath now. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's coming underneath. And that was the risk, right? He had to hit that really, really good. He's got a chance to still bank this or, or cut it. It's just a little tougher shot now. net there. Wow, what a good shot. That was a very good shot. Well controlled. Gave him a chance to win. Yeah, there you go. Went in there a little sloppy, but he got her. He gets another one. All right, I'm going to try this now. So let's see. So this is what these guys are playing for. These guys are playing for these take home trophies um, with Len's uh, name and, and picture. These are really nice. And then uh, we'll get you back here for the break. See, I'm a little slow at this stuff, so that's why you only get one, <laughs> one picture at a time. I'm going to try and give our sponsors a little credit here shortly. So it looks like this could be a dry break. And Mason can see the one. We can make a play. Two's in an awkward spot. So we have to, have to see what he decides to do here. having a tough tough go at this in this match right now you might want to you might want to take a break and go splash some water on his face oh there we go we've got that i don't know if i can yeah i don't know i don't have the ability to uh, i don't have the ability i'm not one of the admins i don't know how to pin that But the link's been put up. Thanks, Roger. So we got the two ball to the three to the four. 
Getting back for the five is going to be highly dependent on this shot. What kind of shape he gets on the four ball. He seems to be getting into a little bit of a better groove and uh, playing some of those safeties has certainly earned him a couple of W's. Looks like he's got an angle enough he can pull straight back. It's just now we just saw the same shot from Mason a moment ago. I think both these guys are gonna have a little chuckle. <laughs> a little chuckle when they watch this stream. I hope they don't want to come and kill me <laughs> for having a little chuckle myself. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Um, you know, I never like to see guys <clears throat> missing shots that you know they make 19 out of 20 or more times. But the pool goes, they giveth and they taketh away. So they gave to Dean and then they gave it back to Mason. So let's see what he can come up with here to get from that five to that six. Looks like Stan's starting a new match. Not sure who his opponent is. Oh, that's a good shot. It's little, little deep, little deep, but he can, he can make that. Or he can play safe, you know, put that six up table by that eight. Leave the white ball right behind that nine. Mm. Looks like he's putting top, so I don't think that's the play. So he's trying to make it. And again, you know what? That's that's the risk. You know, when you sometimes when you don't have the feel, sometimes you gotta play the safety until you get the feel right start making some making your luck start making things happen for you that would have been an opportunity there instead now it's uh, you know advantage again to Dean he's just gonna play a little little check top on this from above the seven but not too far just got to get all the way back up table to get to that eight ball so oh he hit it way late okay said the side pocket would be a better choice it's not bad it's not bad oh it looks like ben closed that score seven nothing in his match it's good to see Ben shooting well. Wow, that's trouble for the field. Wow, good stroke. Good shot, Dean. And he's got, I think, just enough angle that he can, again, force this in with a little bit of top inside and come two rails for this nine ball. One, two, or three rails, yep. Either or. Good shot. Being starting to put some distance now. All right. So let's see if we can do so. We've got our sponsors. I'm going to try and put this one into. So we got Nick's Q Innovation. Um, he's a local. Q repair, manufacturer, tips, you name it. Uh, he makes his own um, carbon fiber shafts and uh, does a great job. I actually had him do repairs on, I call it my my heritage Q, but it's, uh, it was a one of a kind uh, prototype Muti. Um, it was mother pearl inlay and all that and you know after 20 plus years they're starting to lift in some places and he made it like new it was uh, incredible what he could do so he's earned all my business that's for sure so even little things like getting my my tips changed i just make sure i go and see him 
uh, might not be the most rewarding work for him, but you know what? You patronize the people that do good work for you. Ben from Q Sports Live is playing in the tournament. <laughs> Mason is the best player in East Chilliwack. <laughs> he goes, make it, man. Mackey is now third best in Chilliwack. <laughs> He's dropping down. What are you saying? What are you saying there, Brent? He's having a little tough go of it. Oh, oh, is he going to get a rail? He's going to catch a rail. No rail. That would be a foul. Oh, but here's a break for him. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can pull it together here. Pull it together here, Mason, and make some balls. Dean is playing Stone Cold. He's playing. Oh my goodness. How many of those have we seen? I do, I do think though, when he sees the replay, he'll see that he was walking out of his stance before he finished the stroke. That's that age old stay down on the shot. Even even top players like you know these guys 596 598 Fargos these are these are I mean they're not world class players but they are top players these are these are masters in uh, just about every league and uh, even they sometimes you know take it for granted there that's just a little bit of you know gotta just refocus stay down on your shots till the end. See, like that, you watch Dean there. He's just staying right down on his shot. It's a little unfortunate he got a little close to his work and, uh, and a little dead, on, <laughs> little dead on it. Could have used a, another turn or two. for the he went for the nine ball that's not a bad play it's not a bad play at all he's up five to two right he had a, you know he had a chance to make contact with the nine decent contact he dragged it over to the hole uh, but but when you look at the results um, he's left Mason a chance here to just uh, make a couple of a couple of shots and get back in the match There we go. Solid stroke there for Mason. That's more like it. I think he got a little bit straighter than he wanted again, but that was a good, good confident stroke. Well, it looks like Tim Hazlitt's about to start a match with Stephen. I think it's Lo Lohan? Logan. Logan or Lohan? I he played in the first match. I'm sorry. I don't have his. But they're about to start a match. That should be a very good match. I played with Tim. Tim plays solid pool. And of course, Steven is one of the couple 700s that are here. He's a 712 or something, Fargo. He plays a pretty mean game. He's going for the combo here. We're going to slice that in. Yeah, slice it in. It's hard to see from where I was. All right. Take a breath. Smooth stroke this in, Mason. Oh, you're right, Len. This is uh, 96 players were in this. Nice. Good finish. Good finish. 
But Mason, he gets one back. All right, I'm going to try and put some, some of our sponsors. So we have DCL Labor and Contracting Inc. That's Ben DeWolf. We have John Ditto CA with Remax Realty Professionals. And then we have Aaron Arganoza from Nissan Royal Oak. And then, of course, our very own. Oops, I gotta clear that. Uh, our very own Nix Q Innovation. And we're ready for the break. Oh, look, I did that. I did that before without missing a beat there, guys. Another good break. Made a ball. Looks like he made the uh, two ball. And he is, that one is sitting perched. Just got to think now about his four ball down here. So he's got the one and the three to the side. And uh, worry about the shape he needs to get down here for the four. 7-5 is still possible, Mike. Oh, he came back. All right. Oh, it makes it easier to come back for the four with that shot. That was a very good shot. I don't know what robot commentary is. You're asking me to do things. <laughs> I'm just happy that I haven't shut this thing down. <laughs> what is robot commentary? Is there some kind of like hum or hiss or... I'll give you my best Ahmed. Silence! I kill you! <laughs> For those of you that don't know, that's Jeff Dunham. And he's a great comedian. He's got some great uh, ventriloquism puppets that he... Uh, I was just watching it the other night. I know it's, he's not new or anything like that for a lot of people, but I pulled him up on... He's got a couple of specials on Netflix and needed a, needed a little bit of fun, needed a little bit of a laugh. He sure does it. Tiff is in the house. Your brother won 7 nothing in his last match just moments ago, Tiff. Still on the A-side. We are watching a close match here between Dean Holton and Mason Mackey. Dean has had a little bit of the, little bit of the advantage here, making shots like that. That's, I think Mason's got a view of the four, but a few of the shots that he's had in the first few, uh, few, few games... Uh, he was glued to the he would have been glued to the back of that six and Mason would have been just shaking his head. We got a little bit of a got a little bit of a reprieve on this one. Okay, let's let's again a little bit of a bad race. You know, a little bad luck for Mason. He's he's making some good shots, but you're welcome, Tiff. He's playing really well right now. I you know I could look over the screen and catch his table and it, it, like seven nothing but seven nothing not even close seven nothing it was you know he was doing well oh that's such a good shot slow down slow down all right that was a great shot all right let's see if making mason can Turn it on, turn it up a notch here and get this thing to within one and then 5-4, uh, 10th game, he'll be breaking. Still got a little bit of work here, but I don't wanna, I can't give it to him, but he can certainly make this work. Let's see, let's see how he does here. That'll do. He's got that seven on the side. 
got to decide now what he wants to do with the eight. Just roll forward, take the eight back to this corner. Feeling like a little metal ball there. So he stunned it. Okay. Well, it was a confident stroke. Hello from Ohio, Brenda Valingo. I hope you people are doing well in Ohio. That, that train derailment nonsense that happened. I think you've had two now there, right? There was one in the east and west. East Palestine and then, uh, is it Boise? Yeah, I hope you people are doing well. That's or getting better. Maybe not doing well is not the right term, but it's horrible. Oh, that's a good try. Good try. He was trying to control, trying to control the, the shape on the nine, and he did that. But it was a tough shot to the side when you know, got back like that. Yeah, he hasn't left. He hasn't left Dean a lot. So I mean, Dean has been making some good shots. So this isn't outside the realm of makeability for sure. But uh, it's not easy. Yeah. And did he get? Uh, oh, there you go. Lined up pretty good for Mason. Let's focus. Deep breath. Make the shot. Nice shot. Whoa. Whoa. All right. He might get one back. He might get another one back. There we go. Good job, Mason. We got a tight, tight match now. Tight match. He's uh, managed to weather couple of lockup safeties there there wasn't a lockup safety so he was able to get out of that well it looks like Johnny's up in his match six nothing got some guys that are oh I see Carlos just playing in the far corner but I can't see his scoreboard at all Oh, let's just throw that guy in there. This is what they're playing with. The Arcos 2 Predator Balls on these diamond tables that are also covered. in Arcadia Predator Cloth. Wow, big break there, two. Oh, almost made three balls, but that's nice that the two hung up there for him. It's an easier shot than the three. Two, four, six, yeah, he made two balls on that break. Nice break. That's what I said, you know, if you make it five, four, and he's on the break, you know, make a ball, and he gets a chance to, uh, you know, gets a chance to set the tone, right? It's uh, whether or not he's going to, whether or not he, you know, plays safe. I mean, clearly that's not the shot here, but whether or not he chooses to play safe or what have you, you know, that's, that's, you get a chance to, oh my goodness, and I spoke. Maybe I gotta stop talking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's too bad, Brenda. Like I said, I don't, I don't know that area of the world very well. I've been, uh, I've been to various places in the States, but not there, and so I don't know it. I just follow it, and uh, my heart goes out to all of you. It's, uh, you know, taking all politics aside out, there's still human beings that are suffering as a result of a tragic accident. 
and uh, humanity should be the first the first thought on all of our minds oh I might get away with uh, might get away with uh, not giving away the farm there but there's two choices here for Mason I mean he can cut this back it's very makeable he could try and carry him and get that nine right now too I mean it's tough you know you get to a point where sometimes you uh, you're not sure if you should slash or you know, things are going your way he chipped back into this game 5-4 so I think he should just play the cut that's it these guys are too good to slash right Hold on, I'm just going to be ordering a beverage from the very pretty waitress. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Just ordered myself uh, water and a paralyzer. I am going to have one or two of those. So I'm not going to have too many. That looks like Mason's still going here in this game. That's good. Very good. Oh, rattled that one a touch too, though, eh? Yep. He forced it in, so he's got some really good shape to finish this out now. He's got to make that ball. A little bit of tops has come up. That nine ball is deep enough that he's just got to come up a little bit. And game over. Nice. All right. Well, let's see if... Let's see if he can bring this all square. Yeah, that 7-5 is looking good there, fella. He gets it to 5-5. Five five. He's got a little bit of mo. A little bit of mo momentum. And I spoke. Wow. Wow. He watches this match. He is going to want a whole bunch of shots back. Wow, from 5-5 five, five to 6-4. So Hill. Dean is on the hill, and he is breaking. Again, it's a good spot to be in. Make a ball, and then set the tone. Either playing safe or taking the ball or pushing out. Whatever the choices are, he's got a chance. Of course, it all starts with the break here, so let's see what he can do. Uh, I was talking about that predator cloth there it is the arcadia i have that on my valley table at home um, i switched it out so brenda you're cheering for mason i gather if you want none on the break that's okay. Mason's a good player. I like him a lot. Oh, one, the wing ball went straight in the corner. He hit that good. Now, and he's got to look at the one. It's, it's you know, again, not the easiest shot in the world, but uh, he's got a shot at it. That's what you want, right? Because you get to, you get to, uh, yeah, it is too bad, right, Arlene? That's a 5-5 five, five match here would have been uh, would have been exciting. Race to two. Now we got a little bit of, we still got to grind. And this guy here is not making it easy to grind. 
He's missed a couple, but he's played some containing shots, right? I like the underdogs. Well, Mason is actually, he's got the 598. I think it's Dean that's the 596. I could be wrong. I like, <laughs> but that's hard to call one or the other an underdog in the match. <laughs> but as I was saying earlier, that's a nice shot. But as I was saying earlier, I don't, you know, I don't put a lot of stock in in the Fargo necessarily when, uh, you know, you get to within 30 points, 40 points, you know, at the higher levels. I mean, if you're talking a 400 to a 450, yeah, okay. You're talking a 600 to a 640. 600 can play. 640 can play. You notice that, Len A. I think both of them have had a couple of jump up shots where they've uh, kind of what it is. I think they're guiding a little bit, right? They're guiding with the cue, so they're coming off the top a little bit, and so they're standing up because they're trying to trying to aim it instead of stroke it. Oh, there you go. Okay, I see. All right, Brenda, that's fair. <laughs> Play a containing shot, and I think he hit it perfect. I think he hit it perfect. It's hard to see. Hold on, let's see if I can do the side view here and see what he can see. Oh, yeah. I'm not, that doesn't tell us anything, does it? Oh, well, maybe he's got it. Maybe he's got to look. Wow. That's such a good try. And jail. Wow, the albino subway. That's not where we want to see it. But gives Mason a, Mason a chance to claw one back here. Uh, getting a little tough. Wow. Jeez. Mason's a little off, I think. Uh, he got lucky there. But ball in hand, and he bobbled it in. And there, that wasn't even close. You know, I mean, these guys, uh, some of them may have played last night. Um, we had we had matches that started at 7 o'clock, and I think we got out of here at 12.30. I think if you won, you weren't playing until around 10 or, or 11 at least this morning. and uh, Or maybe it was 10. Yeah, no, it was the losers that weren't playing until 11. But they're waiting for some, some first-round matches to continue. So... Uh, So you know they might start. They might be starting to get a little tired. It's seven o'clock here local time. So if they've been here since ten, if they were you know a first game winner, uh, you're at nine hours after playing yesterday, or maybe not playing yesterday, just coming out and uh, you're getting a buy or something like that and watching, and that could probably be a little bit even more tiring just sitting around not doing anything. But uh, that was a very good hit there by Dean. And, uh, and a good leave, a little, you know, again, a containing, containing leave. And Mason's taking it right back. Good shot. I think he might have, you know, he should have been doing this a little bit earlier when he had a couple chances. And he was a little, a little more aggressive. You know, could have, could have take the combo. Yeah, you're right, Mike. Uh, he is. He's playing. He, he he looks very confident out there. 
you know, it still comes down to execution, and, you know, none of us are, well, to say maybe there's a couple of pros in here, but, uh, you know, we're not pros. We can be good at this game, but we're not pros, so we can miss the shot, you know, miss the shape, miss the, uh, you know, whatever it is. But he's, he's making a smart play. Like that's the one thing that we can control, right, is our head. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter what game. I used to say it even in slow pitch or whatever it is, you know. At the end of the day, I can forgive physical mistakes. I have a hard time dealing with mental mistakes. You see, this is, this is a little bit... It's a little bit better for Mason again. He, he was thinking of his lead there. Are they ranked? Um, so they have Fargo ratings. I stated at the beginning they were within two points. One was 596 and one was 598, Brenda. Um, uh, and I, th I can't remember uh, which was which, but um, which is those are very good Fargos. I mean that puts them in most in most. Uh, you know, local leagues, pool leagues, you know, they'd be master players or certainly playing with the masters, you know. Um, you might call them low level, low level master players um, as compared to, you know, guys like uh, like Ben and, and so on. Um, but still, that means they can shoot, right? They can shoot. They can run any table. You can see there, they can play safeties. That was a solid shot by Dean there to roll behind that seven, just chip, you know. This is these are these are good plays here. You know, just a little bit of uh, you know comes down to the focus, sometimes fatigue, uh, sometimes again situational. We don't know what's going on in these guys' lives. You know, as they might be forcing themselves <laughs> to be here. I hope that's not the case, but. Uh, Very good shot. Oh, you want to come up a little higher. But the six is way up table, so if he, uh, the six and the seven are pretty much duck soup if he can make this three ball. I'm thinking he's probably going to go for the bank. Oh, no, he was playing safe. Yeah, very good shot. Again, you know, that's he's been doing that since the very first very first rack he's been playing like that and I think it's I think he you know I think he's uh, been able to manufacture a couple of W's with these shots it's very good and I, I can certainly tell you from playing it's I mean I love a safety game I, I, I really do but it can be tiring it can be grueling oh there's a there's Pool God smiling on him. That is a great shot. Yeah, let's make this three. Get straight on that seven. Roll up here to this bottom right. Take the eight. Take the nine. Depending on what shape he gets on the eight. If he gets a little straight on it, just roll through. If he gets a little angle, maybe draw. Play same pocket. But he should be able to get out of this. Make this six five. Yeah, that was a good shot. I don't think he was calling. I don't think he was calling the combo. Um, he certainly was was trying to make the hit. And I mean, I don't know if the, I'd have to look back at it. I don't know that the that it went by. But maybe he was calling the combo. It was pretty much the only shot he had, I guess. So. Now he might be a little off on this one, so I think he might be coming to the bottom left of this. I don't know if he's dead straight or not. It's hard to see. No, he's not. Yeah, he's coming down here. That's a really good shot. No, he pushed through it. So he'll just he'll just roll forward here. Eight to the bottom right, then nine to the left, and back in the game. Oh, he drew. All right, that was the other choice. And he gets one back. 6-5 for Dean. And he's breaking. <laughs> he 
Yeah. You know, it's, uh, you know, again, the advantage is probably still with Dean. I mean, he gets the final break. Uh, but Mason here has a... Sorry, we we're just trying to figure out um, some logistics with pool tables in the hall here because uh, there's some uh, walk-ins that we're hoping to play on the nine foots, but uh, there's uh, it's uh, unknown if there's still some A-side matches. I think there's quite a few. Anyway, while we're here, I'll put up some ads. These are these wonderful uh, Predator Strike jerseys. I actually own a blue and a red. Um, and they're very comfortable and quite, well, I guess stylish is the word. They're, they're, they're striking. And I do actually have that blue hoodie here today. Uh, and they're quite comfortable. They're actually a little bit heavier and than you might think. And they're nice, nice fabric. They're, um, you know, kind of silky. Uh, in feel, so they're quite good. And I'm going to put you back for the break here. Yeah, I've I've been uh, picking up quite a bit of jam up gear lately. I've got the uh, BK Rush shirt, the short sleeve. I've got the long sleeve that's similar. It doesn't have BK Rush, but it's got similar markings. It's the dark. It's the black with the. Uh, dark blue lines and then um, oh he scratched on the break um, what else do I have I've got a few I've got all the uh, Predator Canada open there was four of them at that point in time I've got that whole series so the shirts are uh, they're really high quality material they wear well they are, I'm going to say, they are wrinkle-free. I think it's, uh, I don't wash them, my wife does. Shh. But uh, I think she just takes them out and hangs them up. <laughs> so, uh, and they're getting better. They're getting more and more styles. We don't have nine on the break, Brenda, in this. It's um, it's just spot, and no matter what pocket, it doesn't matter. It's not like side pockets or far pockets or anything like that. It's nine anywhere is spot up. I got my beverages, so I can keep the throat lubricated. Because it might be me for a while here. It is only seven. I think they're probably going to go to about one. So uh, for th those of you that don't know, I have a job. <laughs> it's I'm an accountant, and uh, and this is a busy time. I was saying I took half a day off yesterday to get here a little early and help set up and so on. And oh, he threw it. He threw it. He lifted a little and he threw that. He didn't follow through. Oh, it brings Mason. We could have a hill hill match here if he can stay within himself. Uh, yeah, so I came here, so I took half a day off, and that was a. Uh, I'd be lying if I said it was the first half day off I had this month. It was the one and a half day off. I had one other day off so far in March. And uh, that was about. That was on top of a February, or maybe I had three days off, four days maybe. So it is busy, busy, busy for me. Well, 
Again, he probably wants to stop it somewhere up there or come down low, right? He wants to create some angles so he can go right back up table for the eight ball. So he doesn't want to get straight at all on this. So yeah, he's playing. Well, it's only one good thing with this. That's, I don't know if it's, oh no, he can hold that. I was thinking that maybe it was thin enough that Dean might come up, up table a little. No, no, that's a good shot. He can make that, but probably wanted a little bit farther up. Nice shot, Dean. Well done. That was a. S oh, we we don't. That should be a warning. Uh, we don't give balls Well, that was Dean. Dean came over here to let me know that the cameras definitely played a part in uh, some some nervousness that he was feeling there. So, so I think that both of them probably probably felt it. Anyway, that was a great match. Uh, you know, a couple mistakes, but uh, overall kept it a little, you know exciting. And uh, congratulations to Dean. He continues on the A side, and uh, Mason will go to the B side. So his his his. Uh, tournament life is not over and we will reset this and I'll be back uh, with the next match so uh, uh, thank you for you know from Q Sports Live from Grant Ben myself Chris Demers and everybody else who's been a part of us uh, we will be back shortly thank you <laughs>